Greetings, FBA Universe. Now, we all know that foundational black Americans are the main group who keeps it real or tells the truth about these sub- political subjects. Every once in a while, once in a blue moon, we find a non-FBA that speaks facts and drops mics like we drop mics here at Channel Raw TV. I came across an Asian female who dropped the mic. She dropped the mic so hard it broke. The mic is shattered. Roll the footage. Know the answer, but it is something that I'm still processing and it hits me really hard in the gut. And so I want people to understand that I am answering the question, what do I know? not speaking for anyone. Many commenters today have pointed out how many affluent black towns have been created and destroyed throughout United States history. And most non-black people know about the Tulsa massacre, Black Wall Street, Lake Lanier, but it was many black towns. One commenter said over 60. And it's not that some black people sometimes were able to establish a successful community that accumulated wealth. It's that black people were consistently able to go anywhere and together establish strong communities that accumulated wealth and had education systems and businesses and were thriving. And every time it happened, people destroyed them. And then as you progress through time, it becomes less acceptable to burn and flood and massacre entire towns. So again, you have the passing of the Civil Rights Act in 1964, and the United States opens the door to Asian immigration in 1965. The United States has a long history of using immigrants to get in the way of black people. And so I think that this system of using immigrant-owned businesses in black communities is designed to siphon wealth away from black communities. And another commenter asked me, why do I think that people are afraid of letting black people build their communities and accumulate wealth and to thrive? And we see it so many times, it's because they fear revenge, because they know what they have done to black people. But again, we have been told that if black people wanted revenge, it would have happened already. That is not what they want. And I think that people think that the violence and exploitation and abuse of power that they have exacted upon black people and all black, brown, indigenous, and people of color is a universal human trait. And that if anybody has that wealth and power, then they would return that evil in kind but it's not it is specific to and all black people want is to be allowed to thrive and accumulate wealth and exist as other people have been allowed to do and again please understand that i am answering the question what do i think that i know Dodge guard it. My drop. I am speechless. There is literally nothing I can say. This little Asian lady said everything for me. This little Asian lady spit truth from start to finish. Chun Li dropped the mic. Jackie Chan's sister dropped the mic. She just spit all facts in a matter of seconds. See, this told the truth about the intentional sabotage of foundational black Americans in our own neighborhoods in a matter of seconds. She literally said everything we've been saying this whole time for decades. But when we say it, nobody believes us. Now that a non-foundational black American has said it out of their own mouth, she came with the receipts and recipes.